Hey folks, welcome to the channel. So we're gonna continue the chef knife build that I've been working on, the Wave Damascus chef knife build. If you remember where we left off from the last video, um, if you haven't, go check it out up here. In the last video, we finished the heat treat and we're start ready to start the final grinding. So let's go do that now. Come take a look. Doing the grind out of chef knives can be really tricky, uh, especially when it gets near the end. You need ultimate concentration to make sure you don't get any facets or any slip-ups. One slip-up and it could end your knife. I forgot I haven't milled the shoulders on this one, so I thought I better do this before I get too far into uh, finishing the blade. So I'm um, going to use an eighth inch end mill. Just going to come down and flatten these two edges here to make them nice and flat. There are the shoulders all milled. Time to take the blade down to uh, final thickness. Well, I've done the grinding so far on this blade. You can see I've got a really, really fine edge on it. It's like less than 10 thousandths. Um, so it's really close. If, um, if I was going to end here, that would be just fine of a grind for the knife. But we're going to do an S-grind. So what is an S-grind? So typically, your knife is going to be something like this. Uh, and that's great, but when you cut something, the food tends to stick on the side because this side is flat. And even if you try to do a bit of a convex it's still pretty flat. So what we're going to do is make um, a 36 inch degree platen. So basically a platen that has a curve on it and we're going to put a bevel in the blade something like this so that when you cut food, it hits this section here, and then it'll peel off this way, or this way, whichever. Um, so that's the theory of the S-grind, um, basically a hollow grind on the side of either side of the knife. First thing we need to do is make a new platen. I don't have any flat stock, so it looks like I'm gonna be cutting it out of this uh, two inch, two and a half inch angle, and we'll make the platen out of this. Let's cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna make my three foot radius pattern. <laughs> Very simply, take this, I've got it attached to the end of the table. I'm gonna take a marker at the three foot mark here and I'm 
it would be better if I had a good marker, but that's approximately what we need. So now I just need to get this bent in that configuration. I'm going to try doing it cold. If that doesn't work, I'll put it in the forge. Okay, let's see if this works. If nothing else, it's going to make a lot of noise. It's actually working. I think we need to go back and measure it. We are almost there. Pretty close. We can see that it's just got not quite the right curve, but uh, I think we can I think we can do it. Okay, I think we got it. I'm just going to take this to the grinder and take all my dents out of it. Though it probably doesn't matter, but, you know, I mean all that way. And now we need a piece of angle iron for this to sit on. And then we're just going to weld this on this piece here. I got to cut this to length. Okay, so I took the platen, my current platen off, this glass platen, which is still super smooth. So just a tip if you don't have a glass platen on your uh, grinder, go get one. Uh, They're awesome. Um, but I want to match the holes because I want to put it in the same one. So, luckily, I can just mark them and then move them over half an inch. I guess I gotta notch this. There we are, all welded up. We have our S grind platen. Let's put it on, give it a shot. All right, the moment of truth. Let's give it a shot. I'll turn it down a bit. Look at that, even the table fits. Uh, I'm gonna just take this, this is my old grinding jig that you can see I've taken a piece out of, but uh, I'm gonna just see how, how this thing goes, just on a little test piece, so let's give it a shot. There it is. It's really subtle, but uh, it's definitely there. You can feel the dish. So uh, I call that a success so far. Let's do it with a real blade. Oh, scary. Well, folks, I got the platen all set up, um, ready to grind. And I got to tell you, I'm really nervous because I think this blade is 
pretty much perfect right now. And I just feel like ah, such an easy way to screw it up, but we're going to try it. I'm going to set this real slow and just kind of put, kind of put this up to it and see if I can get that in the middle and uh, just kind of see how it goes. So I paused a minute there just so I could put some scribe lines just so when I do the other side I kind of get them to match. Well folks there it is. Um, once you get into it a little bit it's not so bad. Um, so I think I got it done. You know it's not perfect perfect but um, I'm going to blend it with a surface conditioning belt and uh, a medium and then a very fine and uh, we should uh, have it pretty nice so let's go do that so there it is after the surface conditioning belt blended in quite nicely of course i'm going to still hand sand this but um, that'll give me a good start so curious how i'm going to hand sand this because I've got a concave edge, so we'll have to check that out next. Well, after about an hour of hand sanding uh, on 220, I've got most of the scratches out on the edges, so I just took a, a piece of steel and put the sandpaper against it, so um, obviously I'm not going to do this dish part yet, but you can see the difference. Um, these are the scratches just still in from the, I imagine from the belt, the 36 belt, so... I guess I got to get uh, a smaller piece and do the center now. I got to figure out how to do that. So what I've done is grind a piece of wood, um, just a little bit um, uh, more of a radius than this, and I'll use this. And I know I tell people don't use wood, but for this I actually do want to blend it and blend the lines. So it's okay that uh, this is a little softer than the steel. All right, let's get this center part sanded. Well, folks, there it is, sanded to 800. I'll probably take it to 1,000, but I want to etch it first. Um, I don't know why, but this thing was a pain in the butt to sand. With the, the dish in the center, with the S-grind, you kind of had to flat sand the outsides and then use that block to do the insides, but then you can't do 45s, and oh, it, this was probably... I usually don't care too much about hand sanding. I usually say that it doesn't bother me too much, but this one bothered me um, excruciatingly long. But it's done, ready for the, uh, the bolster. We're going to cut this video here. Um, I wanted to get through the rest of the build in this video, but with the holidays and I was sick for a couple of days, so couldn't quite get to it. But next one's going to be the final. We'll put the bolster on. We'll put the handle on. Um, I think it's turning out really nice. Uh, it's beautifully straight it's already almost sharp so uh it turn it should turn out really nice so stay tuned for the next episode where we finish this baby off thanks guys and remember to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and we'll see you on the next one